Most people in life are looking for how to make a life worth living and retirement worth having. A lot of people work in the hourly aspect of the day-to-day -day of a retail store or a restaurant. Other people work in salary positions at corporations or manufacturing installations and, well, power plants. But what I'm talking about is every person in the world has a industry, has a profession, has a career. And what we have to do in the world, of course, is to produce enough income, enough revenue, so that we can, well, live in the world. Living in the world is about really hearing people about what they want, what they need, and how to, well, help them succeed. In the world of marketing, which I come from, in the world of educational training systems that I have provided for myself from, I have to tell you that we have different standards than other industries. The only reason I know about other industries is because I proactively participated in local and state-oriented networking organizations, where I got to go and interview, basically, through social conversations, social interactions, and business, well, sometimes distractions, about people and their work, their industry, and who they were targeting, who they were looking for, and how I might help introduce them to other people. You see, in life, we don't live in a bubble. We don't live on our own accord. We don't even live without serving people. Any product, any service, any politician is in the world to serve people. So when I talk about these things, it's quite common sense. What I don't understand is why people don't get that common sense. When I'm starting over in life, I'm having to go decide where am I going to live? Where am I going to work from? How am I going to keep my home office preserved so that maintenance men don't steal from me again and that office workers don't take from me again and that people in the law enforcement don't enter my home without my permission again. I'm also looking at who are the neighbors. Are they nice people? Are they unnice or uh, unkind people? Are they professional people? Are they unprofessional people? Are they practically anywhere close to my age demographic? So I might have someone to socialize with and not feel like an immature twit around kids that are way too young for me anyway to play with. But I do see men who are in their 30s coming in to try to hit on 20 year old girls. I'm like, just go home. Please go home. Go find a girl your own age. It's inappropriate. At least, that's my humble opinion as a pagan priest. But what I'm talking about are the rules of the world. And the rules of life is we serve other people. So when I see people lying, stealing, cheating, and taking away other people's time, interfering with the rights of a business owner who owns a property, pretending that they have rights to solicit me, to interview me, to ask me questions, when they're a maintenance man doing their job in the hourly, I don't need them in my life. I am probably waiting for someone who lives in that building, or I'm testing to see whether or not I want to live in that building, and I have the right to do that. We have the right to explore places. We don't have to get a tour every single time, and maybe I've already toured the building. Maybe I've already seen the building. Maybe I've already explored the building with people who actually live there because they're kind to me there. So give me a motherfucking break. If you don't know what your maintenance men are doing on your behalf, that's on your company. But several companies are going to lose their houses. They're going to lose their properties because they've been discriminating, not only against me, but other people like me who are elderly, who have walking impediments, who have difficulties in life. And openly, it's on your people that go out and ruin life. 